Hello and welcome to my first game in my 1Q series. And for my first game I'm playing against a 2Q plus as white with no Komi. So it is already going to be a lot harder than usual with no Komi and I'm white so let's play and say enjoy. And I don't like the symmetric enclosure, so I will take Keima, uh, the Komoku. And I have to deal with the Chinese framework. So, um, I like to do something on the bottom side first, because even if black uh, makes a double wing, uh, this R9 stone is a little too far from Q16, so it will be easy for me to come in later. But this uh, extension is proper, so I want to reduce the framework from this direction. And I play... Uh, which one do I play? I guess... I'll play K3 and see what happens. I do not want to go too near it. Maybe it would be better to play high. Uh, and as we see, the 2Q knows to expand his Chinese framework. And the next move would probably be K5 for black. So I want to take it away. If I just slide in, then he still can't play it, so I guess I'll play there myself. Still, there is Aji uh, if I come in. Uh, so, he does not respond to that, but wants to approach me. I'll respond. See if he takes uh, Gota here, then I can continue on this side. Um, I also kind of want to attach here to work together with my D17 stone and force him into the corner. This way I maybe get more influence. Uh, because this one, H3 is still open. I guess I'll attach and see whether I can get more influence or work together with my d17 stone. And he takes a little bit of influence himself. Um, and place this one. I want to spoil his shape, although I don't know the proper uh, way to play here, but maybe this is one. So he takes something in the corner, and this was rather a goate move, and... Okay, reverse sente, I'd say. And now I take some could play up, could jump. Um, if I jump, then it's a nice extension from my d17 stone. If I push up, it may be Gote and he will approach. I'll have the turn, but even if I capture, he is alive, so no reason to answer my d8 immediately. So I will first make my larger extension and this allows me to protect my weaknesses which I immediately like doing um, 
because his next move over here is painful, he is strong, so I could either attach, mm, then he might cut. I kind of want to attach to a strong group, so this group is alive and it's strong, so I want to attach it, to, to attach to it, um, and see whether I can defend this one in uh, sending. And he cuts. I expected that, and I wanted to just push. Oh, uh, maybe it does not work. Uh, if I push and then protect, I'll just protect first. Maybe it was not the best idea to attach, but still there is some interesting fighting going on here. Uh, peep, if I protect, he can drop down, okay, now he um, does not push up, but Han is, so then I'll want to Close this off, and maybe this will be my territory. This would be nice. This kills all the Aji. This gets more to the outside. I just want to kill the Aji, and I have taken some points here. He took more influence. And here he does the... Um, this is kinda a small Chinese. And he approaches this with uh, this approach, so I'll react by taking a little bit for myself. And now he pulls back. And this is the opportunity to come into his framework. Uh, also notice he never continued this bottoms, and uh, since I have strength here now, I can uh, be more aggressive there. But first, uh, I'll come into his area. And this is more or less the usual continuation, if you are kicked and then pincered, then you are happy to close your opponent into his framework and get a strong group yourself. So I will just protect. Now black has two stones uh, near a stronger group. and wants to fix that right away. Ah, uh, and this is obviously a probe. He either wants to get into my corner or get more stability on the side. Since those stones are on the fourth line, they can run easily. Here's some uh, strength. So, um... I kinda have no real attack on them, I guess. So I want to take the corner. I took some territory over here. Uh, if I can take the corner and come in, then all black has is this corner here.
um, how to take control here. Um, maybe I'll just uh, connect. This is so open. Uh, here's uh, actually nothing really going on uh, since black needs so many stones to make this into territory. I do not worry about it too much. And what I want to do is to continue coming in into his uh, framework. Like uh, the biggest move for black, I guess, would be this Q5. So I'll play Q5 myself. Would be a nice idea. Maybe I can isolate the two stones. Or maybe I can isolate this uh, M4 stone. Let's see letters. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The letter goes... The letter goes to white. So I think I can attach here. And continue isolating the stone. All he gets is this corner. Um, first thought I play here, force him to uh, connect himself and then extend up to isolate the one stone, but then he connects to his two stones. Uh, if I block here, then I myself am in trouble, so let's do just the safe moves. Those two stones still have some uh, possibilities to uh, threaten white's shape and connect. And this was a nice reduction for his framework. Do I care about this move? I guess I don't. I think this jump for black would be very big. I do not see the purpose of M2. It cannot connect to this stone. Uh, so I'll threaten to attack those. Maybe get some more influence. since I have influence over here. Um, this is again uh, endgame. If I protect... I mean he can jump all the way over here. Uh, maybe there's some I don't know. Um, I kind of want to build something over here. And I want to do that by uh, threatening the life of the two stones. I don't see a way for black to uh, kill me here. So... I get strong myself. And maybe aim at some 15 points uh, here. Uh, although this is again an opportunity to disconnect this, this stone. I can play here and then there. And then disconnect, I guess. Or I can just play the usual. No reason to get fancy and leave cuts behind. Just play usual moves. And be safe. Still uh, trying to build something here. Uh, 
Um, so what's the ba best way to protect? I guess it's here. Um, or I still kind of want to threaten the life here. Uh, I do not see... I'll want to fight a little bit more, so I'll play the more aggressive move. Maybe he plays here, I protect, and he jumps... No, he does not. Uh, so I will... Protect in some way. Uh, either by taking his liberties. Or by a more safe way. I guess I take one liberty away from the two stones. Uh, I guess this fight is not really necessary. So... Maybe it was wrong to start it, but still he has a weak group over here. Which he obviously needs to take care of. There is uh, this cut here, but I do not worry too much about it. I can uh, fix it immediately. And if he connects, then I continue my attack. Or I actually just want to enclose here. I still want to continue my attack on this group. Or maybe by... I just get a little bit more of this influence again. If I play P12, would be some nice connected shape. Some influence toward the center. But also I need to start worrying about points. So maybe some move around E11 uh, would be nice later. But now I have my eye on this weak group and this weak group. So my stones are rather strong between the two. You know, a weak group between two weak groups is strong. Like the proverb goes. And he sees that as a problem. Uh, so I want to continue attacking the other weak group. I guess now it's time for him to um, uh, no it's not uh, so what are my choices my choices I kinda want him not to play this move, so I'll play it myself. Still, there are issues with uh, his stones. And I guess he'll again need to, to, to jump. Or maybe he'll start... Uh, okay, I'll disconnect that and get some nice endgame. This move really hurts black. And here he threatens to get this group alive again, so I will kill it off. Uh, this one though... Um,
So do I need to play here uh, and protect? Let's assume he plays here himself. I'll Atari. He'll go for the Ko, I guess. I'll extend up. He cuts. I go up. And I guess that's uh, as far as this goes. So I'll threaten his shape by playing the vital point. His stones are still not alive, as they are. Still just the one eye. Mm, or maybe... Yeah, maybe it's two now. Um, uh, and maybe this was an overplay. I'll really need to come back. I guess this was a mistake on my side. But he did not catch it. Uh, glad it went well. So here he has one definite eye. I guess it won't be really hard to get a second one, huh? So I'll guess I'll just ruin some uh, of his potential here and see whether I can get something on the side, and then... Uh... and just play nice and solid. But he is a really solid player. Uh, we see, although he played the Chinese framework and then went for points like everywhere. Like this corner, this corner, this corner. Um, yeah. So he obviously wants to get this group into safety. And he will. And can I play here? He will Atari, I will extend. He will extend. I will Atari up. He will extend. I will Atari up. Will extend. So if I play here, he will protect. Um, for example, this way. Can I play some vital points myself? I don't know. I'll just protect myself, let him protect himself and then play something around the left side. And am I in danger here? His group is still caught. So if I can get the left side, then I'm clearly ahead. He has just some corner points, which are still not completely uh, his. And I have this huge endgame. He can uh, jump in, sure. Won't be much territory for me here. So it's all about endgame now. I'm uh, now I'm guess uh, I'm guessing. 
Uh, and maybe I just should take the third line territory. Hmm? Let's take third line. No need to fight here anymore. Here is a big move, here is a big move, here is a really big move. So should I connect or should I do something else? I'll just connect. No need to get fancy here with some extensions and after he catches... never mind. Thinking about the G18, if I play it... Can I get... can I reduce this to one eye? I, I don't know. If he harness and then plays up, uh, no problems there. So my uh, E11 stone is still functioning. I'll just take third line. Now he plays here, I'll connect. And he now needs to connect himself. And I'll protect my stones. Maybe not the sharpest move, but the one that gets me uh, furthest in. So I'm solid and connected. So there will be no points for black. And he realizes this large endgame. Uh, so what to do now? Uh, just take my large endgame? He wants to be nice and connected. I'll continue endgame moves. Want to continue NK moves. This shape is nice and well. Here he has some uh, attachments, so I kind of want to protect myself from it. What would be the best way? Maybe this one. I'll just uh, protect myself. Oh, I forgot there is no Komi, so maybe I need to rethink some points, but still. Uh, 
Um, this is interesting. I can get in here, or I can do something else. I kind of want to get in here. Do I still have enough ice then? I'll guess I get in here. And he does not want to get me in there, so he realizes his Atari was a minus point for him. Again, don't see any reason to answer that. I'll be just uh, jumping in here. He maybe now plays somewhere around this G12 area to make four points or so here. Ah, uh, yes, or this way. Mm -hmm. Uh, play some NK moves, see whether I can Maybe this one is overplay. He pushes down Ayatari, he protects. If I protect this way, he'll most definitely cut. So I'll just play the simple move and let him take the four points over there. Uh, and then, can I cut this stone off now? If I can, then this is the only move <laughs> to get it done. Um, or maybe the two stones. There is a little bit of Argy around this area, so I want to see how he continues. doesn't work. If he pulls down now... So at the end I could have got this one in uh, Santi after all. So never mind that. No cuts over there. Um, so then I'll play this move again for some more endgame.
uh, can capture here, so I have to um, just defend. But then this stone is still in Atari. Uh, this is an interesting question. If he Ataris, can I just protect and be alive? I can. So I'll go for this move. And he wants to play Ko. Where are my co threads? Here's one. Here, I guess, are some. He has a few over here. I kinda. Um, hmm. This one is difficult. Do I want to play co? If I lose it, those are four points. I just want to play Ko. I played this one for Ko, so let's uh, see about that. Uh, my threats will be coming from... Uh, I just named them. Uh, what's the biggest one? I guess this is the biggest one. I connect now. Now those ten points are ruined. And I kinda have to watch out if he plays down, Atari, defend... Oh man, I have to... Oh wow, I need to protect here. This was a larger code than I have thought. I guess he could have just killed my group here. Um, okay, so we had some co-fighting, which is nice. I'll save a stone. Oh, there, I, th I think uh, this S2 move should have been done uh, with more caution or with more, uh, with a larger threat in mind. I see this one as a zero point move. Don't see him getting anything from it. Maybe one in go to uh, one later. So I'll get at least one for myself here. Eliminating some of the RG. Maybe getting two points in the process of doing so. Um, hmm? Go 
could defend, could play here, or do something completely different. There's nothing, so I'll... Or I'll perfect. few points for me. So this move gave me four points or so. And yes, this one is also, also large. Now he can play here, I'll catch here, I'll... Uh, yes. Catch. And then here, and... If I don't defend, then he has one point in Sente. Do I have more than one point in Sente? I have this one. And I guess here's also one. Which is big for black to have. So I guess now he'll capture and I'll take back. Oh yeah, this corner is interesting. We'll have to look at it later in the review. Is it a call? If he Ataris, I'll protect. He Ataris, I'll protect, and this is one liberty more than I do. Then I play something else, I guess. Um, now I take the one point. have to remember if this liberty is gone, then I have to do something. Or it will be a larger cone. He could have played here in Sente, but then I guess I would have atari So is there... Uh, here's one. Now some last but not least uh, co-fighting occurs. 
I think this is a co-threat equivalent to him taking. Basically we are fighting over my protects here at N14, so maybe one point. So is there more than one point to get here? Basically, is there anything? I guess this one is something. I guess here is something, but it's goatee, so... But there are two points. Two points and go to him. Maybe I should just take them. Just play here and then defend. Nice and simple. Two points. I guess um, this may be, may be bigger. I'm not an endgame specialist, but... I think if he plays a core threat and takes back, I'll just go to e5 and that will be okay. Indeed, he plays it himself. Two points here or there, it just does not matter. And he even got one point here, so I should have uh, paid more attention there. Uh, what is there left to do? If he plays here, then this is an Atari. And if I connect, if there is a stone, then we're done. Just get rid of some code threads. Uh, well, here is uh, an actual co. If I take the stone, no, protect. I see no harm in taking the stone. Atari, connect. And then nothing. And now we get some more intense co-fighting going on. Um, Or maybe I should have thrown in first. I should have played H18 first. This is a large threat, but... Or maybe no, maybe I can cut at F17 later if he protects. N14, 
nevertheless some coal fighting it is. Oh, that reminds me, this D19 stone would be sente. Uh, for white if I played it, because of this G18 stone. Ah, damn. Would be nice to points in sente for me. And here is something which gives me points, I guess. Because before, uh, after his this one and this one, if this is taken, I guess I'd have to connect. And now I don't. I, I have the feeling that this was plus one for me, this throw-in. Still have some threat here, threat here. Mm, there is no cutting. Uh, my last one over here, I guess. But I'm quite confident with this comb. So many threats. And if he continues this D2 stone for a little while longer... Or... Uh, never mind that. This is also a threat, this is also also a threat, this is also a threat, oh, or maybe, oh, never mind, if I play here then I cannot play here anymore. And this will be his last one. Uh, his last one over here. At least um, this is this shifts uh, the call, so he will answer that. He does not want to get the call bigger. Uh, wait a second, was this an actual code threat? Uh, maybe it wasn't. I just responded instantly without thinking. Sorry for that. Kinda thought he still has code threats. Here I have one and. Here I have my second one. And black has none. And this is then uh, another pass. This is dead. Okay, so that was it. Typing done. And I have won. My first game in my 1Q series against a 2Q without Komi was successful. Thank you. I think it was his... He played the Chinese vari uh, framework variation and then went for points everywhere. Points uh, like corner here, corner invasion here, 
corner here and something over here. So this change of direction for him was not a good idea. So let's review. Edit game. I'm obviously very happy to have won my uh, first 1Q game. Uh, I thought uh, I might lose a uh, few first to win my uh, for the first time. And here we have the Chinese framework. Um, approaches are here for once. And we would have something like this, for example. Maybe white uh, comes in now. Maybe white... Uh, if white encloses, then we have this framework versus framework idea. But I kind of think black is one step ahead still. It has something like this framework game. Um, this could be an idea to uh, devalue the bottom side. So if black plays anything at the bottom, uh, it can be uh, put under pressure just to uh, approach is perfectly valid and we would see something like this double wing on the bottom I do not like this as white because the R9 stone has a perfect relation to this Q3 stone this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces so perfect because if white comes in then there is not enough space for a two space extension that's why it's a nice uh, distance so I like to play something on the bottom and this this time I played uh, this stone maybe I should have gone high to reduce influence but I thought about playing more territorial so I went for the third line uh, he obviously enlarges his framework if I do anything else like losing Senti over here, he'll continue expanding and I will face a hard uh, time invading or reducing. So the safe moves do not work well. That's why I just continued and thought he would continue. Then I can think about shoulder hitting I can think about corner invasions or uh, just approaching first or some double wing for myself but he was a greedy person and approached me instead and I do not know the function of this M4 stone now it can be attacked uh, it can be undercut it can be used to get more influence so just gives me a punching bag more or less he went in um, if I go for corner here he will have his extension it's nice but also I want to uh, enclose my corner now myself here uh, make some corner enclosure for myself which will lead to his double wing so I don't know about that. I wanted to get influence or uh, something working together with my stone in Sente and that's why I attached. Did not pay too much attention to the corner because if he plays, is playing the Chinese framework for influence then uh, he can go into the corner, it will break his strategy. And this move I disagree with. As black, I would have done something to uh, get more influence from this variation. And then still maybe uh, some sort of jump or corner uh, enclosure. If you want points, you can play here. Uh, and of course uh, white has this nasty move but you can protect and that's it uh, if you got out then 
you are not under too much stress. Um, yeah. So I did not like this inside living move. And here I thought if I uh, bend now, then this group is safe already. So black can think about enclosures and uh, later attacking my stones here. So I'll need to come out and we will have something like this, for example, where everyone is not very strong, but also not too weak. Um, and that's why I jumped first. If he comes in now, uh, then I will have a stronger uh, group for myself and can uh, begin attacking his uh, um, approach. And if he goes for high, then we have uh, we would have some sort of uh, the Chinese variation. Or maybe not this time. Maybe this time I would cut. Difficult to say. But still, uh, this five spaces are a nice relation between stones. And I like playing it. Um, but he went for some really super strong uh, shape in the center. I could just protect, but it seems really goaty. Would be nice points. I wanted, since this group is already strong, I wanted to attach to it to get more strength for myself. And actually, I... Uh, Actually, he got forcing moves, I guess. I got my points in uh, still go to him. But now those points are safe. Uh, he went for this approach, so I'll happy. Uh, I'll be happy to enclose. And I went into his framework. He obviously kicked and then played this one uh, as black. I would be really happy to start taking points. I mean, this is nearly... Uh, uh, taking points here. White still would need to do something here. And you can at the same time take the corner, build your other side, while white is just living here. It's a very nice result for black. Uh, true, it's an invasion for white, but black also gets uh, a nice result. I do not see uh, any reason not to play it for black. If you uh, pincer after you kick, like black did, then white can just lean on the corner to get uh, strong. And now you have a two space extension near a strong roof, and those two stones are just floating there. And this one, this area is not uh, strengthened by it. Uh, here is a different variation, which is can be find found on Josekipedia. Uh, it kind of goes something like this, I guess, or like this. So white will get two weak groups and then a fight will emerge and we can see how well it goes but that would be a completely different game this move is obviously safe mm, here was a probe I could um, play to uh, let black live in my corner and there starts some attack on those stones. But I don't know, those stones are light. Maybe I can kill one, but then 
I don't know, all this, uh, all this what I was building is just reduced and like a strength here so you can run somewhere too. I did not see much future of uh, giving him the fourth corner. Could have done that, but uh, again, if I take points now, uh, there are just still no points uh, yet. So I play in the next big area. And here I was reading letters, because this move is uh, the usual. We have uh, this letter, which works, and we have this letter, which, as I read it in the game, works as well. And if he plays here, then I'll just get this letter to work. If he plays here, now I'll just capture. Uh, he can go for the fighting variation and cut me. But if he cuts me, I guess I'll be uh, content capturing this uh, M4 stone. And here are still some shape issues. And here as well. So... His answer was rather passive. I don't know, I would have gone for the fighting variation. And I dislike this M2 move. For him, top priority is connecting his uh, weak stones to his strong group and not play endgame moves. So this way he gets some territory and he connects his weak stones. Uh, the other way... Sure, he will have some endgame possibilities, but now um, his stones are under attack and won't make any points. As you have seen, uh, in the end, uh, his problem is he was trying to reduce me while not taking points himself. And here maybe... Maybe I should just protect myself and let him do whatever he wants here, because I... I don't know... It would be kinda... It would be some fight. But I see no direct impact still. There are issues with, with white shape. It's hard to tell uh, what to play here. I wanted to close him in and connect to my shape here. So I played the move I played, basically. And this again is rather passive. He wants to reduce me while completely ignoring the fight. He just strengthens me without gaining any points. And now he is facing uh, the same here. He connects his stone, which now does not attack anything and gives me the chance to protect. If he will go after my shape, on the other hand, then suddenly maybe this move will be uh, sent for him because I will need to get out. There is much uh, value in destroying the opponent's shape and ask him the simple question, do you, are you alive? So here my opponent was rather passive. Uh, that's why I protected my shape. And this obviously is a very painful move for black, because now here is an invasion, uh, an reduction, the monkey jump. I gone for his shape. And this maybe was a mistake. 
Can I cut here is the question. And the answer is yes I can. Okay. Then uh, his answer was correct. Oh no. Oh yeah. Why did not he just play the living move? If I play here now then uh, mm, still some fights I don't know uh, actually I would love to uh, let him live over here and just play this move for example and say alright you live and I'm connected have some influence and some continuation here He played a move to get out. Uh, no, not this way. And he protected. I made my shape stronger and then went for some reduction because now I guess white, uh, if this left side becomes points, is quite ahead. And from here it's more or less endgame. There is no attack anymore. Uh, here I wanted to see... Uh, this move. If I'll give him that... Is there anything? Like this for example. And then the cut. Uh, on the other hand, he is connected. So if I play here, it would be just some points. So um, I guess the extension is okay. And here I wondered um, if I play some goatee move now, like, I don't know, goatee move, then he will come in and I think he will either leave or come out. It will be difficult, but I guess it could be possible. And then I have nothing on the left side. That's why I protected myself. Or if I play here and take the stones, then I would face some uh, consequences. Like this, for example. And now my uh, stones here are weak. <laughs> would not like that at all. So I guess uh, it was okay to uh, protect and jump out and be content with uh, third line territory and not take goatee elsewhere but now if he doesn't play it let's say he plays some uh, goatee move this variation Does it work? I guess... I guess it does. So it was okay for him to protect this weakness. Uh, wait a second. He played here, and immediately I should have, uh, not this one, 
should have exchanged this and then continued. Because otherwise, if I play goatee move and uh, let him do this one, then it's just double centi, a huge double centi, like six points. Uh, it's too big in endgame to. Uh, um, uh, yeah, to forget. Whatever. Um, he played here, which I consider rather small. Uh, of course, it connects him, but now, uh, since white is slightly ahead, uh, all white needs is endgame and no more attack. If I want to attack it, then I am kind of desperate to kill it or do whatever. But there is no development going on, so I'll just take some points at the end. And I was glad to be able to play this and this one. Here I just went save. And yeah, this one was unnecessary. If you want to protect, you just can play here. Hmm... Here's another reduction in Sente. Uh, this one was stupid. Maybe I should have... ...played this way. Because now, um, the cut is protected, so I should have played, uh, yeah, differently. Uh, I could have reduced it more, but then again, never mind. I thought this one works, but didn't. So here was some co-play, um, and I think if he plays here now and protects, white will desperately need to win this co, and there are just so many co-threats and it would be just a uh, complete game over white, it would just lose everything. So, big chance for black to just win the game. Um, but he did not pay attention, like myself, he did not pay attention to the game. Uh, and <laughs> um, fortunately I noticed that and protected myself. Also here, and this one should be here, because now if black wants to capture a stone, what does he do about this move? If he protects, then uh, I don't see any move he can make not to kill himself. This is a double Atari, so obviously this one is uh, Sente, and that's nice uh, points in Sente. White can continue. So a small endgame misjudgment there. And obviously black takes this point because it's, it's double Sente, double Sente is like uh, huge. Maybe here uh, it's difficult to tell the right order because if he plays here and I play here and he continues and I capture, this one is huge. That's why I guess if he plays here it will be sent and he can come back.
but those are just uh, very tiny things. Maybe just five points difference at last, but not the major ones. And we fight some coal, and he is completely running out of coal threads. And this is uh, then the game. So thank you for watching my first game in the 1Q series. I will continue it. And I'll see you next time.